Alright. Time for a Hecarim game. I will be playing against a Jarvan here, which is a little sketch. Early on, definitely. Like, uh, especially, I mean, later on, kind of as well, to be fair, with this ult cage thing, but... Yeah, it's... Uh, we'll see. We'll see how this turns out. I'm gonna start topside here, clear towards bot. I seem to have a Wukong support. That's interesting. Okay. I'm gonna just stand over here. There's no guarding here for invade, so I'm just gonna stand here, recall place the warden there. I'm gonna do blue start. I'm gonna start blue because um, if I clear towards top, I will most likely fight the Jarvan quite early, and I don't actually think I win that necessarily. Let's say I would go for like the other Hecarim start as well with like the Raptor start, right? You clear the bolt side recall. I can't really do that here either. Because if I do that, I'm going to delay this to the point where Jarvan could also invade me. So if I was on this side of the map, I could do this start here and then clear up and then go bolt lane anyway, which would be fine. This, this side of the map is better for that because the likelihood of getting invaded on your bolt side of the map is much lower than them going for an invade on your top side of the map. So that's a bit of a difference there to keep in mind. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to full clear towards bot lane here. I do have a Wukong support, unfortunately. There's like a Thresh or something that could make for a pretty good... Uh, how do I get aggro there? That is strange. Thank you, Sion. I appreciate it, buddy. Give him a nice TY for a good leash. Yeah, that's basically the uh, the idea behind it here. This way, like, the Jarvan is less likely to invade me on my bot side. It is warded in case he does, and then I'll be able to switch to going just for his top side. Which would be fine. Let's say he like EQs over Dragon Wall or something here, right? Which I doubt he would, but he could. Then I would be able to adapt to it right away. If he doesn't do that, the likelihood of actually going for that invade on my bot side is extremely low. Whereas like going for an invade towards top side is way, way higher. Wow. Really, Vladimir? Hey. I was not expecting a Vlad to get a first blood like that. that. That's just not a champ that does that, you know? Okay, well, that's just very unfortunate. At least it's actually a one for one. Support for AD carry. Fine, I suppose. Actually, that's a double kill for them. For me right now, I'm just finishing my full turn. Uh, also, another thing, I am getting very close to 50k subscribers. And about 70% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed, so... If you like my content, it would be greatly appreciated if you would subscribe. And, uh, yeah. Well, if you don't, well, I guess that's fine, too. <laughs> but it would be nice. I'll finish my full clear here. If for some reason you don't get the finish, or, like, you have a feeling you might not get to finish your full clear, then... It's gonna ghost. We're gonna E. This guy probably doesn't have any flesh or summoners, so we're just gonna go for him. There he goes, very free. This is just knowing that there's a very unlikely scenario where that guy will actually have his flash after the bot lane play. Flash Ghost would most likely be down. He walks up even slightly, he just dies. So that's just a free setup. Jarvan definitely started bot side here. Um, the timing on his Grom respawn is gonna be not too good. I think I'm just gonna go for the recall. He does kill him, but... My Grom's not respawning here either right now, like, not within the 10 second mark, so going for his Grom's not going to be a possibility yet. Whoa, that's... Oh, actually, I got lucky there. I actually got really lucky there. The cancel was bad, but the Karma is walking up, so I could just get the kill on Karma here still. The face rush. Perfect. Very, very good. That was more luck than anything else. I didn't cancel there on, like, purpose. I misclicked, but it ended up being good because Karma decided to walk up still. So I got kind of lucky, not gonna lie. I get the CDR boots, get this, and a long sword, very solid back. Uh, priority is the tier, of course. Uh, after this, if I have the money for CDR boots, I do like to pick those up. I like early game CDR boots on Hecarim because of like the uh, summoner spell cooldown for Ghost. And just having early movement speed for fairly cheap boots as well as just ability haste is great, right? Ability haste is not a bad thing. I could look mid here. See if I walk up here real quick. Try to help this guy out. This guy's dead by uh, Diana. He got too greedy there, buddy. I don't know why he's not just pressing recall, but I guess he most likely wants me to help push this out. 
I need to help him push there because I don't want like if he wants to go for that wave then I need to make sure it's shoved in just a situation there we would see mid Vlad's gonna be super low Diana's probably gonna go aggressive so I just have to react right I did not get to extend my stacks there uh, there's a ward here I don't have the ward thing bound to my keys apparently that's fine Jarvan is there I just have my camps to clear now so I'll go for that Like in a situation there, by the way, as well, like th those are situations where you have to help your laner push the wave because he was very low HP. It's going to take him way too long to push by himself. So you have to, I'm going to have to like clean that up for him. Use my E between camps to get mobility here and keep the tempo going. I could go mid here, maybe uh, if like I don't hit six off this, I'll only hit six off Raptors, I think. I could look to hold my E here instead of Eing towards the next camp to potentially go for a play. Oh, that's not good. I just have to ult for this. Should be fine. Yeah, uh, you always want to hold your ult until you have like no choice, but or like in yeah, uh, you want. Ooh, I'm gonna ghost here. No, where are you going, Timo? He literally just did that. I might be able to get him. Still, ghost extension is pretty large. Yeah, he's in the bu in the bush. I kind of figured because I didn't see him. You're joking. I was about to say, man, what the heck? I don't know if I survive this, to be fair, I might. Okay, now we do get the face rush poke in the end there. I didn't see him, and it was unlikely for me not, not to see him at all. So I figured I might as well just press my W and I can then start, sh like, hitting him in the bush. Because he was low enough to the HP where I probably could get him, even if Jarvan would show up soonish. It's a little close there. If Jarvan would have been 6, I most likely would have been dead. But I felt like I was going to be fine there. recall here okay so first item i'm going for in this build is spear of shojin the reason i'm doing this is because i don't quite like the um the eclipse or dusk blade start on hecarim it just doesn't feel that good in my opinion you're pretty squish more room for mistakes uh, this thing gives 300 hp as well as the uh, like uh movement speed on low hp as well for like additional damage additional mobility purposes so it feels much better to just go for this item and then take Radiant eventually as my Mythic because I just it just feels better for me to play that way. So that's why I do it. What the hell are you doing, man? I can't even go for the bolt play now either. I mean, uh, maybe after my ult, but... I'm going to have to wait here for a split second. Ult's up in like two seconds. Go for karma. Okay. Mm are you kidding? I died. Ah, uh, the Jarvan showing up there was bad. Why are you? Karma's dead, my guy. Oh, he could have killed Korkma still. Ah, uh, very good job. Uh, very good uh, movement there from Jarvan coming in. That's quite bad for me. I didn't respect him there. I mean, the Wukong went in like an absolute maniac, to be fair, but. Yeah, I probably should have respected Jarvan a bit more there. I thought I could wait and make the play happen, but yeah, disrespected Jarvan and died for it. Couldn't finish off the Karma either. I don't know. I feel like Wukong's support is just kind of trolling. He's really not doing anything but inting right now. It's just kind of sad, but I guess it is what it is. Elo of this game, by the way, is like Platinum 3-ish MMR, in case you're wondering. Oh, Vlad's going ham on the chase when she just gets all the third plays for free. That's an entire turret, probably. That is quite large for the Diana. Oh no. Best play is probably this. Really? Diana could be in this vicinity somewhere. I, don't, I mean, actually, this is probably a death. Wow. Wow. Okay, fair enough. If you didn't have flash there, that would have been a death. That's a rip on my end. 
Jarvan's quite fat here, actually. And I, that mistake that I just made there on Bolt's quite large. I say mistake. Uh, it's just, yeah. She doesn't have flash now. She's definitely dead here. I didn't get the knockback there, but she's dead anyway. Why would you? Why, man? Why would you take the kill? Like, that doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess it is what it is. I'm not, not necessarily against people taking kills, but this guy's inting anyway. Like, he, I don't know why he would want to reset his gold that way. I'm going to have to be, like, in this vicinity here. Go for the Teemo. Jarvan is going to be out of position to do anything about this. Be free cleanup. Dudes! Alright, sucks. That's my bad. I should have thought about that more. I should have just walked away. Hopefully this is still a kill on Jarvan, I hope. That would be great. I think that may... Ah, it's not a kill. I, I trolled. I just absolutely turned off my brain with the possibility of him going for that. Eh. This was my bad. That's silly. I wasn't worth a big shot down there, though, at least. So that's kind of nice. Half of my Spear of Shoujin now, which is good. I'm just going to sprint straight at mid lane. This guy is just going for turrets. That Jarvan is getting some kills, though. Jesus Christ. Seven kills, actually. Let's see if I can go this way. Okay. She's not worth any gold. Interesting. Uh, Kokomas is shot down and Jarvan's is shot down, so I need to look for kills on both of those two. Ideally, just bolt here, I think. And I really hope Wukong doesn't take the kill on Kokma. Please! Thank you, Jesus Christ. Go for this guy first. And he gets the shot. Ah, oh, that sucks. I mean, it's fair in this situation, but it still sucks that he gets the shutdown on Wukong. I don't know. I just, I mean, I guess it's not necessarily bad because probably the Kokma wouldn't have died otherwise. But it's just the fact that it goes to the, like, support Wukong. It just feels weird. I don't know what else to tell you. That's all I can say about it. It just feels weird going to support Wukong. If it was, like, even a Thresh or Nautilus or something, I would be honestly more okay with it. For so I don't know. It just, I don't know how to describe it. Maybe it's just because I really don't like the, the pick he went for, and it just, yeah, I don't know. That dude's strong as hell. Mm, actually, based off everything here, I'd probably go for his raptors, right? I think so. His raptors should be up. I'll take his raptors and his... Oh, they're not up. Wow. Okay, I am mistaken. What path do we go for, then? I'm going to put my control right over here. Oh, yep. Please don't be a dumbass. You are being a dumbass. I'm I'm do I'm doing this purely because I need to zone the Diana from actually getting to Sion because Sion is greedy and is not willing to recall initially. Ah, uh, this is not good. Please smite, I need you. Thank you. I'm doing this. I also have Sion TP. Doing this to get the stacks on this. Let's go. I'll reach him. Okay. Scion. I'm going to go for Teemo. I think he's the free kill. Ah, not Jarvan is going to be a kill here. I'm going to ult for fear. So this guy gets to do more hits on this guy still. Uh, I'm just going to do this. I should be able to chase here. No, you're kidding. Please die. I, this is going to be worth my death, even if it, if I don't get him. Because he's worth a thousand gold. This is going to reset the rift roll, but that's okay. Sion should never have gone bot lane there, in my personal opinion. He should always just have gone for the teleport on the ward here and make a play. And I think that would have been better. Or just walk up here instead. But even if I would, like, hard chase Jarvan there and he would... Um, I would die for that. It would be worth it because I preemptively looked and he was worth a thousand gold shutdown so getting the kill on him is obviously worth everything 
always look at shutdown values and stuff. You know, on the recall here. I'll buy this and then I'm going to go for a nice Radiant next. If I'm super fed, I can also opt to go for um, just Cleaver next. But I think Radiant is fine here. I'm like... I could, I'm, I, I'm gonna look at it. We'll see what happens. If I get extremely fat in like the next situation, it's gonna just be nice and smooth. I'm gonna go for the uh, cleaver still, but Radiant is good at this moment in time for the extra resistances. Just with this build setup that I'm gonna go for really. But yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Cleaver is definitely an option though. After Cleaver, you can still go Radiant. Doesn't really matter when you buy Radiant. It just, you kind of want to have it for the team fight stage if you can. Got my clear tempo here, looking to uh, get my Muramana stacks before I go for any type of extra play. Also get my uh, jungle item stacked out, you know. Stuff like that. Teleporting to bot lane, eh? Very interesting. Emo Flash Ignited. This plant should be here. Nope, it's not. Emo has no Flash, no Ignite, so... I mean, I'm gonna have to, like, kind of walk into him like this anyway. I was not going to get him there. There's definitely a ward here somewhere, but I also have to respect Demos rooms. He's not worth it going for a 0 and 4. That's a flash. That's respectable enough for me. Definitely not bad because it means his flash is going to be down for like dragon and stuff. I suppose I just go for Diana here, probably. Diana suicides for turret. Okay, I guess. Oh my god, he got so lucky that the Jarvan flag missed. This is so bad, actually. Maybe that's a mistake. Maybe that's a stupid mistake. I probably should have kept going on Kokma, but I got scared. Finish that off. Please don't have ult. Okay, thank you. I, I regret what I did there. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, God. I didn't respect the Kokma thing. I could, probably could have ran from that. He cleaned it up. Thank you. I was thinking about it there. And the second I did what I did, I was like, this could be a mistake. Like, going for Karma instead of just finishing off Kokma. But I felt like Kokma's position wasn't that good. So I felt like it was maybe okay. But the second I went for it, I was like, maybe I should have just finished off the Kokma and let the Karma live. Then again, Karma Shields are very annoying too, so... I don't know. You know... I definitely could... That could be considered a mistake or not. I was able to clean it up at least. So it's not too bad, I suppose. But, yeah. I need, just need to do Dragon here quickly, because Jarvan's still going to be dead for a bit. I need to use this Herald on mid turret. Got Scuttle here as well for the level up. Come on. There you are. Let's use this. Get the reset off that. I'm gonna go for Kok here. Because he is alone and dead because he doesn't have any escape summoners. I say he's alone. He's no longer alone, but probably still dead. Wait for the Wukong. kind of fear so he doesn't get any damage off because we have to take Kokma passive damage into account there um, if he gets like maybe one or two more hits off that could be worse so that's why I do what I did I'm gonna go for this guy's blue Rift Herald was put mid lane there so it kind of baits attention as well they get to go for that push Kokma's bot lane I thought he was gonna be alone but Karma actually showed up and then I just kind of stall a little bit instead of committing to it right away to do a bunch of damage to Karma if I can uh, to then afterwards let the Wukong close distance. Yo, what is going on here? Why is nobody like doing anything about that? It's kind of a that's kind of crazy, honestly. Wanna... Yeah, I'll take whatever I can from Jarvan here because I'm at this point not really gonna be the one recalling. What the hell? Okay. There is no way Diana gets that turret, right? Please tell me. There, please. Holy moly. Okay. That's some insane shit. That dude got so much there. Probably, I, I might have to just look to kill Diana before anything else, because nobody is actually going for him. 
They got so much out of that one from Diana there. Okay, Jarvan's there. Getting very close to my Radiant here, which is good. I'll wait a little bit. I'm, I'm waiting here purely for my Q stacks to extend them for a little bit to see if maybe there's a play here. Yep. No, you're dead. Okay. That's the best I was going to get out of that one. Ah, uh, the Ash got such greedy positioning there. That's not... Oh, this might be good actually still. Nah, it's too greedy. Okay, my uh, Sion might die if I... That's good damage increase still. Oh, that's right there. I don't want him to get any more damage on that. Let's go for Karma and knock him away as well. I'm gonna go for the easy kills first instead of just going for Jarvan. Could be getting this guy. Are you serious, man? You are one health. Are you? Oh, my God. He went left, didn't he? Or he went right, didn't he? Damn. Or left, I guess. Yeah, he went left. Absolute rat. I might still get him, though, because he's going to recall in this position, I would imagine. We're going to walk in with W up here. Are you serious, Jarvan? He actually may have escaped. I don't know where he went. Yeah, fair enough. Damn. He actually went this way. I should have expected it, I guess. I don't know. I thought he was going to go the other way. Oh, well, whatever. It's okay. My boy got very lucky that he didn't die off the other hit there. Clean this up, and then we'll recall. I'm just going to go Cleaver here. I think it's fine. I have the money for it at the moment. I'll do this. And then I'll just build another health crystal going into Radiant. I'm also at this point in the game going to look to switch boots. Oh, no. I'm going to... I don't think I can make it to this play. So I'm actually just going to go for the Diana here so she does, doesn't get another turret. Because this turret is worth 600 gold for her. Which would not be good. She doesn't kill me here. There's no way. And I'm, I'm just going to ult for safety because I wasn't sure if I was going to get him without the ult. Uh, mostly because of the ignite, by the way. Because she ignited me, I got a little worried there, and I just ult instead. Like, ult's complete safety. My team just inted, sadly. Let's see if I can heal for a bit. Uh, that's not looking particularly great here. I should be able to get him here. With Cleaver and stuff, I'll do tons of damage. He's dead, yeah. Are they doing Baron here? They're not. Okay. Builds up in 20 seconds. I'm still a little worried. I can get this in like 15 seconds, but... Ah, without ult, this is so risky. That's some shroom there. I'm gonna have to go for this quickly. I need to hit this real quick and then heal from this for this and then hit this thing as well to heal from that. I have basically all my health back before I go for anything stupid. If I had ult there, I could just ult both and I would just double kill them easily, but because my ult was on cooldown, it was actually very awkward. There we go, clean that up and then we go for this. Go for the cock first, of course. I have Black Cleaver, so this guy's gonna die pretty quickly. Are you kidding with this? There is no way. Well, he actually survives that. That's disgusting. Please don't take this from me. Oh my god, he actually tried taking it from me. I don't know why he would, because he's not a mana champ anyway. Like, he gets a little bit of ability ace, don't get me wrong, sure, but... Considering I am the mana champ here, you know. This is, there's no way you survive me here, buddy. It's just not going to happen. 
snare is kind of disgusting to be honest though no what did i do oh my god i that's i'm so trolling what the hell am i doing okay i'm not gonna walk into kokuma that's not gonna happen I'm, I'm just not going to do it. I might be able to kill him there, but it's just not worth the risk being worth a thousand gold. Time to get my Radiant here, and then Stone Plate is my last item. I'll buy a Red Bolt as well. I should switch my boots, actually. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Steel Caps, because their like, on-hit damage reduction is great. I don't know why... Baron, please. Hello, Ash? Ash? Like, why Why are we not just going for Baron here? Like, I, this should have been Baron instead of whatever that bolt play is. I'm gonna stack up my Q here for a bit. Let me just go for Baron. It should be fine. I don't think the Jarvan's gonna respond to this fast enough. Wukong tanks this because the Baron gaze debuff. He's not doing this, is he? He's not doing that. I'm gonna have to go for the Jarvan here. I don't have a choice. Too, too much of an extended play there. Hello, sir. Don't fight me, then. Man. What am I looking at? There you go, I guess. Ghost extension here. We could probably chase this out, actually. I'm so fast, man. Look at that. There's not even a chance for him to do anything. Uh, Korkma was, like, right here somewhere. Hope he walked all the way back with enough respect. I don't know. We should have just done Baron. It would have definitely been down, but I didn't want to risk a 50-50 smite against the dude for absolutely zero reason. Like, it just wouldn't have been worth it, you know? I can just force the fight and be okay. Clean up these camps, get the red buff, wait for my team to respawn for a Baron play, hopefully. Let's go. As long as Sion tanks this, it'll be fine. Jarvan shouldn't be able to get here in time. If I get to do full DPS to Baron with my Qs, uh, without getting the Baron damage debuff, we should be fast enough here. As you can see, my Q is uh, very quick here. And now it's no, lo no longer a 50-50, so that's very good for me. Yep, didn't get there in time. Eh, it's not worth it. I have my stone plate, right? Yeah. It's definitely worth just recalling for right now, that item right now. I This is my full build setup for Hecarim, by the way. This is what I do. I feel like this build just feels much better than going a little bit more squish. I'm going to go a little bit more tanky with, like, HP and resistances and stuff. I stack this with W resistances and everything. It just feels feels more consistent feels better damage as you can see is still high so there's no issue there but yeah we're going for this that pokemon is dead that's one i'm just go for the other. i'm just gonna go one by one here it's fine built into this finish those off finish them off stuck in the cage for 10 years perfect as well with Radiant here giving healing to my team, which is kind of nice. I still had a stone plate there. I was not really ever going to die. And they tried for a flank, which was, was just not going to happen, really. All right. Let's get that. We just finish off turret here. I actually don't have to queue because there's nothing to queue. Ideally, I would want to keep my three stacks as much as possible. So if I can like hit a, this minion here, for example, and get some minion hits with the queues to hold on to my three stacks, that would be good. Because Diana just does not care. I mean, Diana did some work with split pushing, I suppose, but yeah. The horse is strong. Whoa, that's a kill. Perfect. And that's it for Hecarim. Definitely not bad. This is uh, what I like to do. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to the like button below, and I'll see you guys in the endgame stats. Alright, so for the endgame stats here, I ended up doing. 45.7k damage, which is nearly double. I mean, I, uh, double the rest of my team, basically, but, like, nearly double the rest of the game. Very high damage output. Uh, true damage at 3,800. 
We have objective damage at 58.2. I try to keep this as high as possible as a jungler. If you're the winning jungler, this should be a high stat. So always look for that. Uh, healing done at 31.2k, which is a lot. It's very nice healing there. Damage taken at 47k as well, as self mitigated damage with another 44. So I took like 90k damage, or like 92 ish. Definitely good. Uh, gold earned at 20.2. And for the runes, face rush, 27 activations, Nimbus 29. Celerity for 80,000 extra distance, and then water walking and six futures market purchases here. So it definitely came in very nicely this game. Uh, but yeah, that's my full build, and <laughs> I guess that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye.